Hey guys, what's up? It's Golden Gun Gaming coming back at you with a new armor video for Destiny. So I haven't done one of these in a while, like there's been the April update and I've gotten much better and much higher light level than I used to be. So I'll go over my current gear and what I'm running. So my, um, I've gone up in mini exotics since last time and my main primary that I use is non-exotic, but it's the NL Shadow 701X, which is a year one, um, scout rifle that they brought to year two i have the uh red dot or s sight the focus lens fla5 and the true sight is i use the true sight is because it's very reminiscent of the um, bad juju which i do have i'll go over that in a minute i have life, life support kills this weapon when critically wounded have a chance to start regenerating health so like i kill someone in the crucible with a little like a sliver of health left there's a chance that i will be healed pretty quickly um, armor piercing round since it's already a high rate of fire um, scout rifle I thought whatever I'll just worry figure it out later with the recoil so it's just gonna hit like a truck with armor piercing rounds and then underdog uh, which just helps when my, my health is low so I'll get better at shooting or I'll get better range and accuracy and I'll um, be healed uh, when health is low so that's my current scout rifle. I don't always use this, so that's just my highest level um, primary. Then I have the Her Revenge uh, Queen's Hand Cannon with a blue chroma glow. I have the Steady Hand IS and the Fast Draw IS. I use Fast Draw IS because it's the second one I've really gone over it. I have Relentless Tracker, which is kind of useless. I mean, unless you're playing like Crucible, a very close together map, and you're using a shotgun. Then I have lightweight. I haven't checked either of these. I don't like the ones that change one perk and reduce the other because it's on hand cans. So I just like how this one feels already. Then luck in the chamber, which is pretty good. And now on to my meta multi tool, which I need to buy stuff to uh, upgrade. I have soft ballistics, third eye, just a meta multi tool. I just haven't unlocked. Oh, I have unlocked the perk. I just haven't bought the stuff for it. I got that at a three ten from a uh, nightfall. There's, here's my uh, Zalo Supercell, which y'all saw in a couple of videos ago on my um, Ingram opening. CQB Ballistics, Persistence, Hammer Forge, Bolts from the Blue. This is one of my favorite auto rifles. One second. <coughs> I apologize for that. Now, this is the Bad Juju, which has full auto as it's uh, one of the perks it's given. This gun's awesome. That's the gun I was using in my uh, Uvania Triple, which are, where I got a. Um, Trip mine grenade triple kill, suit ballistics, hip fire, send it, uh, stream curses. And my last primary is my hard light, which y'all saw in uh, the um, Titans or Scrubs video where I knifed a. Uh, I forgot what it's called because I've been playing a little bit of Call of Duty. Um, it's like Gravity Spikes. Oh, uh, Fist of Havoc. Uh, Titan Brawling has been fist packs. So I have glass half full, fitted stock, volatile light, and then aggressive ballistics. Now to my secondary. So my current like secondary that I use is the Party Crusher Plus One. This weapon is amazing. The roll on mine, I got a fuel choke, grenadier, high caliber rounds, and final round. Really, the best part of this gun is final round. I mean, field choke's pretty good. I mean, it's already a high. Uh, it's a slow rate of fire, high impact, so it's not going to matter too much if I just load up the um, recoil. I have three fusion rifles, and my first is my legendary, which I need to upgrade the vacancy. It's the Future Oracle on one fusion rifle. It has the Candle IS, Hot Swap, Enhanced Battery, Race Frame, Range Finder, and Danger Close. I plan to use Enhanced Battery and a Range Finder on it when I do upgrade it, which will be pretty soon. Same with my Invective, I just need to upgrade it. Um full auto of course which makes this gun really good uh, final round quick draw fit stock and send it I'll probably just use fit stock because I don't want the ammo reduced and then of course the infective perk next is my Telesto which is one of my exotic fusion rifles again I need to upgrade this one I don't use it too much because it's really it's more of a fun weapon than like a useful weapon but I plan to use it some more. Smooth Ballistics, Battle Runner, Lightweight. I'll use Enhanced Battery on that again. And Harbringer Spark, which is multi-kills with this weapon. Spark works for your allies. 
And then my Plan C, which is a really good fusion rifle. I thought was I talked crap about it. I was really sad when I got it, but I really do like it now. Field choke, hip fire, sorry, coils, plan C. And finally my still piercer, which I need to do the same for. Uh, perfectionists. Uh, snapshot, custom optics, oiled frame, and self spotter. And my heavies, I have the uh, three. I have a Tormund's Mellow, Tormod's, uh, Tormod's Mellows, which is the Iron Banner assault, uh, rocket launcher, with grenades and horseshoes, fit stock, single point sling, snapshot, uh, last resort. Uh, super good advice. CQB Ballistics, Crowd Control, Hand Loaded, and Super Good Advice. Collar Dragon, SRT 49, uh, Hard Launch, Tripod, Perfect Balance, and Tracking. My Void Edge, which has all the perks, I haven't fully upgraded it. The Nightmare, which is the Queen's Rocket Launcher that you can get from um, Varix from playing lots of um, Prison of Elders. Well, Challenge of the Elders, that's how I got this one. Uh, perfect balance, all the and spray and play. Oh, I forgot the first perk on it. And life support. And finally, my last heavy is the Dread Fang, which all I have is but Will of White, which is probably what makes it the best. I just need to buy the stuff to upgrade it. Then I have my Consumed Shell, which I just got from playing Challenge of the Elders yesterday, which is one of the Taken Shells. I think it looks way cooler. Cause it looks like my old shell, which had like the, the top parts from the Iron Banner one, and then the spines look amazing. For my helmets, I have the uh, Hood of Malak. I haven't upgraded it at all yet. Increase discipline, increase strength, ashes to assets, second thoughts, and infusion. Then I have the Spectre Mask, increased intellect, inverse shadow, or heavy lifting, and battle. Or battle already? Or is it battle already? I'm pretty sure it's battle already. Or it's battle already, okay. And then I have the Skybrand's Annex, which I recently got. I just don't like this. It's too much. Heavy weapon kills have a chance to create orbs. Orbs collected when your super is full have a chance to grant special ammo. Uh, increased intellect, increased strength, hands-on, heavy lifting, and battle already. And then down to my gauntlets, I have the Spectre Grasps, which I still have enough upgraded. Increase discipline and strength, increase uh, fastball and impact induction, and sniper rifle loader. Uh, 290 don't touch me, which makes you invisible when you get meleeed. Increase discipline, increase strength, switch play, moment, momentum transfer, auto rifle loader, and machine gun loader. Desolate grips, uh, increase intellect, increase strength, fastball, impact induction, and pulse rifle loader. My last gauntlet is Young Ahamkara Spines, which is which makes it so you get two um, trip mine grenades, and they're they last longer. Um, increased intellect, increased discipline, fastball, momentum transfer, auto rifle loader, or sour motor. On two chests, I have the Spectre Vest, with increased strength right now, auto rifle ammo, and void armor. I have the uh, Desolate Vest. With increased intellect, increased strength, hand cannon ammo, pulse rifle ammo, arc burn defense, and arc armor. And then I have Ingram that I haven't gone to the tower to deal with yet. The 318 bones of the AO with increased intellect. Oh, that, they grant you triple jump so you can like put higher jump or better control instead. Increased intellect, increased strength, pulse, uh, fusion rifle ammo, machine gun ammo, or solar double down. I have these Spectre boots. Increased discipline, shotgun ammo, rocket launcher ammo, and solar double down again. God. And radiant dance machines, which make you faster <laughs> when you're aiming. Um, increase the intellect bonus provided by this piece of gear. Uh, sorry, increased intellect dis discipline, side arm ammo, machine gun ammo, arc double down, solar double down, or void double down. I've, for my cloaks, I have the um, 324 uh, Wolfswood Cloak, which is the Iron Banner Cloak. The 320 Warden's Hood, which is from Prison of Honors. I got it yesterday, so I haven't used it yet. And a 322 Spectre Infinite Cloak, which you can get from uh, packages from Future War Cult. And now on to my equipment. 
I have the EV39 Lumos, which I'm pretty sure I had last time, it's just a purple sparrow, not purple pink, the EV40 Snow Scream, and the Volumbra, which is really easy to get, you just gotta play the quest and do some prison honors. To my horns, I have the King's Horn, which sounds epic. Flourish Horn, Chime Horn, Basic Horn, and the Happy Horn. For my ships, I have the Extinction Event, the Outrageous Fortune, Space Age Mariner, Tiger Tiger, the Endurigible Incorrigible, and the 80 Proof Reader. For what's it for? Uh, my current shaders, I have the Gold Spiral, Chalcedony, Billion Million, Service Minimalist, Nebula Glow, Yesterday Night, Shimmer. Ch Chanson de Guest and Walkabout. My current uh, emblems are the Iron Pride, Firm Decree, Omen of the Dead 2, Surus Fire, Wolf's Grin, Honor of Blades, Jade Rab Insignia, Signal of the War Cult, and Prison of Elders 1. And my current um, emotes are Energetic Dance, which is like I'm pretty sure I had this last time, but it's, uh, it's like uh, Apache. Yeah. I have Point and then Spreak, uh, Sprinkler. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably do some more Destiny content. Comment if you want to see any of these exotics reviewed.